Hello, in this video I'm going to look at how can you actually use these satellite maps on your farm. Now there are so many ways to use, use these maps and I won't be able to cover all of them so I'm just going to cover three main uh, ways to use it. The one and the the first one and the most obvious one is to look for um, uh, uniformity or crop variances and that's the easiest one, one to actually do. You can just look at these maps and you can see that there are very variations on the, on the um, maps. Now you might be aware of these different variations but now you can actually quantify them. Um, so you can add a pin like I've done here um, and let's imagine that this was a soil problem. Uh, you can now um, look at this um, field and say okay cool I need to actually fix um, the soil in some kind of way and that kind of brings us into uh, the next point which is uh, within the season uh, you can monitor your crops see how they do uh, see the different variations quantify them and then out of season once you've harvested uh, you can do your planning for the next um, season and do all the preparations uh, and this is where it gets really exciting so what you can now do is uh, you've pinned this um, um, uh, spot, uh, let's imagine the, the past season, the previous season, um, and you know that you actually need to apply lime here or you need to add drainage or, or whatever. So when the new season comes and you've already planted, you can actually check whether what you've done works. Um, so that's a really nice way to use these maps is within the season, monitor it, see whether um, um, whether there are any variations and pin them, make annotations and then out of season um, you can actually make those corrections and see whether what you've done is actually working. Otherwise you keep on investing all of this money but you don't know how it's working. And another use case on, on this point is to look at different cultivars. So if you've um, planted a specific variety or a specific cultivar, uh, you can actually see how it responded to different weather conditions and next season you can come back and um, uh, learn from that. So let's imagine that you've planted a, a different cultivar in this area. It, it actually seems like it's a different cultivar uh, because you will see it's a little bit, it seems like there's a strip here that looks different. So let's say I planted uh, X, Y, Z here um, and um, next season you can actually come back and see how this performed and uh, learn from that. So that's a second way of, of using it. And the uh, and third one, a very interesting way of using these maps is on the moisture layer. Um, so on the moisture layer you will see these variations as well. I um, just want to make sure that there are no clouds. Okay, so there were no clouds. So what we can see here is that, let's look at this specific um, pivot point here. You can see that there's some variations here. I just want to see one of these other ones if there's maybe another different one. Yeah, let's let's use that one as an example. Um, so you can see that here's a spot that seems like it's uh, a little bit drier uh, and that might be a, a persistent uh, spot. It might be just different um, a soil or um, or something like that. Now what you can actually do is you can use uh, the moisture maps to plan your moisture probes. So if you've got moisture probes um, Let's just add a pin there. Let's imagine that you had a, uh, you've got a, a probe in there, but you also have a probe um, in maybe this area here. Okay. So these colors are very similar to each other. So obviously these uh, two pins are not very representative of what's happening here because you've got a um, you've got a, a very wet spot here. Um, but both of these spots are actually saying that it's very, uh, it's it's less dry. So you're going to keep on adding the same amount of water just because you have your probes in uh, areas that are not completely representing all of your probes. So, so that way you can actually say, okay, well, uh, I actually need an, a probe. I need to move my probe in this area because it's uh, a better representation of what's happening in my fields. So those are three uh, ways that you can use it. Uh, you'll probably find other ways to use it, so keep on experimenting, keep on exploring with it and let us know how you use the maps.